guys, so today I'm using the The Rock Mega Pro 3 and I will have a swatch and first impression video linked down below. But I'm starting off with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and using that to prime my eyelids. Um, I basically always use this. It's my favorite way to prime my lids and it just really works. And then I'm taking the NYC Smooth Skin uh, Translucent Powder and a little sponge and just packing that on underneath my eyes because I've never used this palette before and the rock shadows tend to um, get a little bit of fallout so I'm starting off with the shade crep and I'm just putting that underneath my brow bone and into my crease I actually didn't put this on my lid like I normally do um, just because I'm switching it up trying something a little bit different now I'm taking the shade toffee and I'm just putting that into my crease using this Morphe brush, which mine is really, really fluffy because my dog got a hold of it. Now I'm taking the shade Maple, which I love this shade so much. It is just absolutely stunning and it blended out really, really easy. It like, was super, super fast and I'm just putting that into my crease a little bit on my outer V. And then repeating on the other side. And then when I went back in with the Morphe fluffy brush and just blended that out. Now I'm going in with this shade which is Bark and using it to deepen up my outer V as well as my um, crease a little bit. And at this point, I was like, Amy, you're doing the exact same look you did like yesterday. So I was like, I need to switch this up. And I decided to um, make it a halo eye, which I haven't done in forever. And so I went ahead and just took that darker shade on my inner corner. And then I kind of connected it through my crease just by blending really lightly. And then I went ahead with my like semi fluffy brush and just blended above that with no additional product. And then I'm taking Jet Black and I'm using that to deepen a little bit further. Um, I didn't go in like super intense with this shade because I didn't want the black to take over. Um, I wanted it to kind of be like a good mix of like the warm and like the coolness of the black. But I'm just putting that in my inner and outer like third of my eye. And then I'm going back in with that semi fluffy brush and just uh, blending again. And then I'm going back in with the Morphe. Um, brush and I just really like to go back and blend and blend with no additional product. So now I'm taking a pomegranate and I must admit that this was a little bit disappointing. I started off by packing it on my lid and I probably did this like three times and I was like okay I'm not getting the color payoff that I want so I went ahead and I did it with my finger. I still wish it was a little bit more intense but um, next time I use it I'll definitely like spray my brush or uh, use like some type of red like base underneath and then I'm just blending now I'm using the olive shade just because I really wanted to try this one out and I'm putting that on my lower lash line and just basically putting that all across I'm not doing anything else down there other than using olive and then blending it out so it's not super harsh now I'm going in with snow on this really tiny detail brush and just packing that onto my inner corner. Um, I was really impressed by this and actually I didn't even realize that I already own this shade in the uh, Lorac uh, Pro 2. <laughs> so it's like I have th had this like hidden gem that I haven't been using which sucks. And then I'm just going back in and blending again making sure nothing is too harsh and I really liked like the way this look came out finished at this point or the way it looked at this point and then I'm using the Makeup Forever um, brown aqua eyes eyeliner which I had never used this before and I was really disappointed um, it was kind of like hard to get pigmentation and then I'm using the Real Technique stippling brush to wipe off that translucent powder and I'm going in with the Kat Von D uh, tattoo liner in Trooper and I'm so sorry I have like glue on my lashes I didn't even notice until, until I was editing it so um, now I'm going with the Bare Minerals Lash Domination on my upper and lower lashes and really building that up and then to finish off the look I'm using ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Midi which I just love it's one of my favorite nudes 
and I've just been obsessed with using it. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see next with this palette down below because I plan on filming more tutorials and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, so that is the entire um, two rows of shimmers. All really beautiful. Again, such a great variety.